All right, guys, I'm putting the finishing touches on the new Z. Um, I had some solid engine mounts that I threw in there and I don't have a solid transmission mount. So instead of wasting money buying one, I just figured I would uh, make my own. So I'm gonna get that done in this video. We're gonna get the exhaust bolted up in this video and bleed the brakes and finally drive that thing. In between the rain and stuff, we'll get it done. But here's the engine mount that I'm making. All right, so this is what I come up with. This is just like an old engine stand post, <laughs> um, but it's actually the, the correct distance apart for the bolt holes for the transmission. And it's actually sleeved so this won't crush. This is actually the center part of a regular 350Z transmission mount. I just burnt the, the rubber out and this is the sleeve for the center. And I'm not even sure what this is. This was just in my scrap metal pile but it put it in the correct location to where it would actually work for the mount. So all I gotta do is just weld these guys up and we'll have a solid transmission mount to go with our solid engine mount. And I can officially bolt the engine in and we can move on and do other things. So I know for a lot of people that's probably, oh dude, that's like crazy rigged up. Well, I mean, most places wanna charge you an insane amount of money for stuff like that. So if you can make it yourself and save a little cash, why not so and that's just me using scrap that i had um laying around the house so just cost me my time so <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much you know the last little touches this car needs to be you know 100 percent solid whatever you want to say um i just got to get the exhaust on there like i said i've had the test pipes for a long time i just you know really hadn't had the motivation to put them on this thing but we get the test pipes on there if the other factory y pipe works with the test pipes and everything then we can bolt the exhaust up and that exhaust will be done. And that's pretty much it. I mean, like I said, I have an issue bleeding brakes, but we get the brakes pled and then we can do a victory burnout in this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up and go ahead and get the mount and everything in. Um, I'll get you guys updated on the test pipes that I got and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, then it'll be fire this thing up. Hear the exhaust, cause it has like some kind of little, you know, nismo exhaust or something on it all right guys as you can hear the rain is not letting up unfortunately and i even had to run to town to get welding wire isn't that isn't that the way it is though anytime you got a big welding i think it's a big welding project but anytime you got a decent sized welding project you always run out of wire i swear i got that little thing tacked like tacked together and ran out of wire so <laughs> but like i said this it's not letting up uh, but i did get it made so i'm gonna show you guys real quick i don't think it's going anywhere but check it out so this is the mount that I have, which is just like a polyurethane mount, which I want to save this one for my other, for the white Z, because I have like the Z1, or I have the one from Z1 Motorsports, and the little bushings wore out. Even though I know they sell replacements, it's kind of irritating. So I'm just going to throw this one in my car, which looks like it's like kind of cheap, you know, eBay special or something, but it should work just fine. And this is the one that I made for the solid mounted car. Um, as you can see, it probably doesn't look like they're lining up really good, but they are 100%. So, shouldn't be a problem, as you guys can see. Um, the holes line up pretty good. And I've already tested this on the cross member. It's plenty of clearance. It works fine. So, I just saved myself like a hundred and something dollars even counting the $80 that I had to spend on the spool of wire, still coming out ahead because now I have a big thing of wire and I have a solid mount. So, of course, you know, the, I think the ones you can buy are like aluminum, so they're nicer, it's lighter, if you care about that. But I don't, I just want something that's not gonna break. And, you know, since I have solid engine mounts, definitely need a solid uh, transmission mount, which I was gonna make like a whole new cross member and do away with the factory crossner and everything but this was just the uh the easiest fastest way to get it done so but if it ever stops raining <laughs> i'm going to like i said crawl under the car get that done get the exhaust hooked up so it's not looking good i'm gonna go ahead and say i'm gonna take a quick break from it go grab me something to eat and um you know we'll revisit this here shortly but i'm like so i'm gonna try to run through these videos and get you guys up to date on everything 
because like I'm just getting really behind. Like I said, we got the Cobra still. I got some new wheels for it because I had a blowout. I had to throw my old RX-7 wheels on there. The Corvette, so much has been done to that. You guys have never, you haven't even seen, so get you guys probably that. Finished my white car. I got my toe plates finally come in, so now I can put, you know, a decent alignment on it so I can uh, drive it to an event. But I'm gonna roll through it. Like I said, just try to get videos knocked out and, uh, you know, get you guys caught up. I ran into an issue. Like I said, I got the transmission mount on there. I got the test pipes on there. The factory Y pipe did work, but it was like a little bit short, so I had to kind of like stretch it out. Um, it's not what I would per prefer to have done, but it, it worked, so it is what it is. But there's like some issue. The car was really loud, you know, with just running off the manifolds course. But it felt like it revved freely and was running good. So I got all that stuff done and like the car it fit, I don't know it's like it doesn't want to rev it's feeling really lazy and stuff like that It's like he even got me questioning like the timing now. I'm like, oh man, maybe the timing screwed up and I was like well the car's been sitting maybe it's got bad fuel in it or something. I don't know So I got to drain fuel out of it. The fuel looks good um, Like I said the sending unit's got to come out anyway because it doesn't read so um, I'm gonna continue draining the fuel out of it. But I'm gonna crank it up let you guys hear what it sounds like and we'll get into figuring out what the issue is um I think I have a theory which isn't that bad. Uh, like I said, I, I've been revving it pretty hard. <laughs> like, like, like it was struggling to get to like 6,000 RPM. It was like really struggling. It's starting to do a little bit better, but I think I found out what it is. This car has been sitting and it was infested with mice and they backed it up to the woods. Um, so I'm thinking that mice have got into the exhaust and made a nest in the exhaust. So hoping that's what it is. I'm gonna take a hacksaw to this Nismo exhaust, whatever, and just cut the muffler and the, the rear tips off and uh, see if it will do it. And the reason I, see if that's gonna clear it up, but the reason I think that's the case, I'm gonna show you real quick, cause like, you can hear like a lot of exhaust leaks. Like it's blowing exhaust out of every crevice <laughs> that it can find. And if you put your hand at the, the muffler tips, there's hardly any exhaust flow. It's like just barely, you know, burbling out. So that's what I'm suspect. And also this, um, I've never had a car with a clogged exhaust before, but you know, this is, it's matching up to be what it is. Like I said, I've been revving this thing pretty hard, but look at that. There's, if you guys can see that there's still like a leaf in the exhaust. So if you look on this one, you can see like, I don't think that that's like carbon and stuff. I think that's like mice poop the majority of that anyway so i'll crank it up for you guys let you hear it and then i'm gonna cut that muffler off and see if that will actually fix the issue i'm having i'm also having an issue where it doesn't want to crank it's like really fumbly to crank so but it's been doing that but like i said i normally don't show this kind of stuff i just like knock it out but i wanted to show you guys this because it's i think it i'm pretty sure that's gonna be the problem and I've never seen that before. I had that issue before. And like, I was trying to find videos of like a stock HR car just revving. So I could see, you know, how fast it gained RPM and stuff. And it's definitely <laughs> something, something's up. So I'm hoping it's the muffler, but I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna crank the car up, show you the car revving, and then I'm gonna cut the muffler off and we're gonna hope that that's the issue. But. It's really radly because like I said, it's solid mounted, but I'm gonna put you like towards the bottom of the car. I'll show you the RPM first. So this is the RPM. I got it. Throw it like everything's making noise. <laughs> but um, it does pretty good low. See what I'm saying? It's like really slow to gain RPM. If you listen under the car, get you guys a decent angle. So I think what's happening is blowing like all the gaskets out of the <laughs> out of the exhaust right now. It was doing it was worse than this. Um, 
I don't think the timing's off because the timing's off. I think it'd been blown up by now as much as I've been revving it. But I'm gonna go back to the car and show you the, the exhaust, the back. So I, I don't really care about it, the exhaust leaks up there because I need to get a Y pipe for it anyway. So I'm sure the Y pipe will come in new gaskets. But you can see that leaf is still in there. Look at that. I'm putting you guys right up. Like there's barely any exhaust coming out. Like look, it's barely even blowing that. So to me, that's gotta be the issue. There's, there's no way. This thing is producing more exhaust flow than that at idle, so. But I wanted to show you guys that because it's like, dude, when you're taking on a project like this, like YouTubers and stuff like that, the people that like, you know, have money to pay people and like have money not to buy junk like this, you don't get to see that. Like if you drag something out of the woods and you do something like this, there's always dumb stuff. And it's, man, it's, it's so stressed. It's, I don't even know that's the issue, but I'm pretty confident, but it is so stressful. So hopefully you seeing this, seeing me struggle, even though like I said, I've done it before, worked on cars, fixed junk. There's always something. And let me tell you, if you find a car that has like a lot of mice in it, you are in for a headache. I don't care what anyone tells you. You may get lucky, but I'm telling you, they will destroy a car. Like I said, get in the exhaust, clog the exhaust up. Um, like I said, they build a nest, and the, then you crank the car up and it blows the nest and covers it. So, um, you know, I might be the rev it and clean it out. But I don't really care for that muffler anyway because the mufflers that go across the back of the car it makes it really hard to jack it up when it's slow because you don't jack up with the pinch welds you gotta jack up on like a subframe a differential something that's bolted to the car that's solid so it prevents you from getting the diff or get the jack under the differential so I got a saws already I'm about to cut this thing off and see if it helps it all right <laughs> I don't know where the clog was but I cut the exhaust off and it blew trash and stuff absolutely everywhere. I think like the cats or something. Look at this. Look at that. So I don't think it was the muffler, but you can see like the little nuts and stuff to where mice or something that got in there. So it was definitely clogged up. This all blew out of the exhaust. <sighs> it just cut, tip, cut it right there. But look at the difference. I mean, you can actually see stuff moving. At least kind of hope it's a difference. So. Let's get inside and rev this thing and see if it made an improvement. So I'm guessing the converter blew and kind of got clogged up in there. You saw that shoot out. I can hear stuff still flying out of it. that it's good um still seems sluggish to rev i don't know check it out Maybe I'm just being picky. I think that's, I think that's good. All that trash and stuff come out, that definitely seems like it's better. Oh no. But I can see more junk. I mean, just this big chunk right here. So I think that's, I don't know. I think that was definitely an issue. So, doesn't seem to be running very well though. But you can see all this stuff that come out of there. I don't know. I think I'm just overthinking it because it's not running very well. And I was kind of unsure about the timing on this thing. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna like bleed the brakes. Uh, once I bleed the brakes, I can actually drive it and fill it under a load with power and stuff like that and see if it pulls better. Because like I said, I'm, you know, guessing off of this one for my car. My car revs really freely. You know, it's probably got like a flywheel and like cams and intake and it's been tuned and stuff. So I don't know. If you see this video, <laughs> what do you think? It's definitely better now with that muffler off. 
Um, like I said, as soon as I fired it up, I just heard like trash and stuff hitting the side of the car right there from where it was. So um, you can kind of see a little, a little bit, but it was a lot. So maybe there's still ju more junk in there. I don't know. So maybe I need to take that, take that whole part, that whole muffler part off, and um, and check it. So. But like I said, it just it, it idles okay. It's like a little sputter. I can't really tell if that's the engine or the exhaust. But I'm gonna drain the fuel out of this thing too, because like I said, it has been sitting. So maybe that's some of it. I don't know. But as you can tell, it's getting dark. This thing is irritating the crap out of me. <laughs> so that's gonna be it for this video. The next video, I'll have the brakes bled and. Uh, We'll take it down the road. Sorry I didn't get much further than that, but I wasn't expecting to have all these issues. So I'm gonna finish draining the fuel out of it. I'm gonna finish draining the fuel out of it, replace the sending unit from another car so I can actually see how much fuel's in the car and everything, put some fresh fuel in this thing. And like I said, we'll take it for a drive in the next video. But whether that fixes it or not, I don't know. So I, don't know. I think I'm overthinking it. But that's it for me, guys. Um, we'll see you on the next one. We actually get to drive this turd. So wish me luck.